Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do a review of the five volume series My Girlfriend's a Geek by uh, the manga adaption by Rize Shinba and the original story which was a novel by Pentabu. So this is a five volume series put out by Yen Press in just a standard sized uh, volume format about this guy. He's in his early 20s, I think he's still in college and his slightly older mid-twenties girlfriend who is a an otaku. Uh, more uh, specifically, she is a fujoshi, so she is obsessed with boys' love uh, everything. And so a lot of... Uh, she does a lot of like video games and stuff, but reads a lot of doujinshi and uh, manga and things like that. So... Basically, it is exactly what it sounds like. It is the story of this boy and his girlfriend who's a geek and him trying to kind of navigate that and her trying to rope him into all of her Fujoshi uh, hobbies, getting him to write a doujinshi about her favorite ship uh, from whatever anime. Um, and yeah, it's just light-hearted ridiculousness and it's based on a novel um, which I guess is a true story about this guy he wrote the novel about his girlfriend who is a geek um, and which I think was originally it was a blog or something if I remember correctly it was a blog originally which then got published into a book which was then adapted into a manga um, don't quote me on that but if that's that's how I remember reading about it. Um, the series, I bought the first three volumes off of someone for a dollar each. I had heard of the series before and went, you know what, I'm going to try it out. Why the hell not? Uh, and then I went and bought the final two because I figured, well, why wouldn't I just have the whole thing? It's only five volumes. Um, so I really enjoyed the first two volumes. Uh, it was fun, it was upbeat, it was lighthearted, uh, a bit ridiculous and over the top, obviously. Uh, I thought the romance was kind of going in a direction I was interested in and was enjoying it. The last three, the third volume was okay. That was when it started to kind of just get repetitive. And then the final two, I really kind of had to force myself to read, um, which you don't really want to do with manga. You're supposed to enjoy it, not really be forcing yourself. But... It just was so repetitive. It was a lot of the same punchline over and over of like, uh -huh, uh she likes, you know, reading about gay men and he obviously doesn't and she's making him do it and it's, you know, supposed to be funny. Um, but I did like the addition of new characters kind of in the middle slash end of the series and the new characters like the friends and whatever uh, I did enjoy, but... I just got bored of their relationship because it really wasn't progressing uh, as much as I thought it was going to. I don't know. I just assumed that based on the first two that the story would just continue to progress, but it kind of stalled out and, and just got repetitive, unfortunately. Uh, thankfully, it's only five volumes long. I really didn't invest much in it because I only paid a dollar for the first three. Uh, and I did enjoy it. I didn't hate it. Uh, I'll definitely probably reread it in the future, and maybe I'll have a different opinion at that point, but I really did enjoy the first two, which I think is why the last three let me down a bit. Uh, but, yeah, I, I'll find you some art here. Um, it's pretty... kind of... not much backgrounds, just more character... Uh, very much like shoujo-esque, where it's more about their faces rather than anything else. Um, I don't know if this is technically, if this is a shoujo or if it's classified as a jose or what it is classified as, but uh, yeah, it really isn't, it isn't very explicit or anything like that, considering her hobby. It, you really don't see anything. I don't think it's... I don't remember there being any kind of sexual themes at all, despite the fact that there are adults who are dating. Uh, it just felt kind of bland by the end of it. I just wasn't as intrigued as I, as I had been at the beginning. Um, something that is interesting is I think that there is... 
like interviews and like different excerpts from I don't know if it's the the blog or the book or whatever but the original creator the guy who who started this all there are different in each volume there's different kind of things from him uh, I don't remember much but I do remember getting a bit of backstory about the story and how he kind of you know came to write it because of his own experience um yeah the covers are cute and everything and if you find it for cheap it's not not worth picking up but I think there are better stories about uh otaku couples and things like I just I think there are better stories than this one and I'm glad I own it I'm glad I checked it out because it was something that had been on my radar for a while but I really wasn't impressed by the end of it um yeah so if you've read My Girlfriend's a Geek and have any opinions on it, I'd love to hear them. Uh, if you want to know anything more about the series that I didn't cover, please let me know as well. Thank you for watching. See ya.